All right, hello everybody. So right here I have two calculators. This one is the Casio FX991CW, and this one is the FX991EX. This is the older one. Uh, almost everybody, at, well, not everybody, but a lot of people at my school have this model of calculator. However, as for the CW, I think I'm the first person at my school to actually have one of these. I've never seen a student use one of these before. So I just got one of these today, and I just want to do a little comparison between them. So first off, uh, visually, there's quite a few differences. So as you can see here, the EX has a very modern look. It has shiny silver buttons. Uh, the keys here are white. It has like a futuristic font and everything. There's also a lot of colors. However, uh, visually, the CW looks like it's a downgrade. Um, the buttons here are all one are just all like grayish or black. And then you got a singular shift button. You don't have like an alpha key like this one does over here. Nothing's really shiny or stands out, and it looks very similar to like a really old calculator, more like the one, like the less advanced ones. And in addition to that, the case is also different. So let me show you how the case of the EX looks. So you can slide out, right? You just slide it into the case. Uh, however, that's not the case with the CW. Uh, on the CW, it doesn't have a sliding case. Um, and so you have to actually break it, snap it free out of its case. And it comes off separately and then you can just like snap it back on backwards if you're not using it or um, just uh, put it back on forwards if you don't want to lose the case. So it's not as satisfying as this, just being able to slide it and also um, I just don't like the, this new mechanic of it. So visually at first uh, looks a lot like a downgrade but there's a couple of new functionalities on the CW that I think uh, make it worth the switch. So first of all, let's look at, take a look at this new button over here called variable. So here, as you can see, uh, I have nine different variables. Uh, I can set these to whatever. As you can see, I've already set the X variable to uh, 780. Here, I can change the Z variable to something, let's say like five. And now you can, there's an actual screen for you to see uh, what variable you've set each, uh, what value you've set each variable to. Obviously, this is very useful, so you can actually see it. Um, on this calculator, Technically, it does the same, uh, minus the, the, Z, the Z variable. Uh, here, you, you can set a variable by using the X key, uh, putting in an equation, and then forcing your calculator to solve for X, which will then set the value of X to 5. Uh, but you can't actually see what the value of it is. You, you have to like press X and then press the equal signs if you want to see what X actually is. Uh, so the fact that you actually have a dedicated screen for you to manage variables here on the on the CW, I find that very useful. It'll, it's definitely a pretty nice feature to have. Uh, so the next one uh, is this new button here, also called function, and this one I think this is the coolest feature on the CW that's that isn't on the EX. So here it lets you store two functions in memory. So you have f of x and g of x, and you can actually define these to whatever you want. So here I can define f of x, let's say. 9x squared minus 10. And now every time I want to like actually um, use it, um, I can just go here, find f of x, find, and then if I want to find like f of 7, let's say, I can do this, and it'll tell me what f of 7 is. So this built-in support for function notation, I think is really cool. It's going to be a l very helpful in my math classes, especially since they're doing polynomial functions right now. Um, but that's about, um, I think those are the two biggest changes they have. Uh, the other thing they have is under the equation section here, uh, there's actually a third section now. If I go over here to equation, um, you'll only see two, simultaneous equation and polynomial. Here's there's a third one called solver. Uh, what it does, it, let, it lets you input an equation and then you can just solve, and it just solves for the variable. For example, if I say 6x is equal to uh, 18, um, I can solve it here for x is equal to 3, right? Uh, here, it's not here, it's actually under calculate. You'd have to go here, and then here you can, you have to do x and then alpha, this button to get the equal sign. So let's just say 6x is equal to 18. And then you have to press this other special button here called solve. It's a very obscure and um, very obscure method and sometimes if you don't do it correctly like if you press equal sign here instead of that one it won't work so now that they have, so the fact that they now have a special spot for that for the solving equations is pretty cool so let's take a look at what else is new you'll notice that at the bottom there's a section called math blocks which uh this thing doesn't have 
So if we go into the math box, you'll see there's two options here, the dice roll and the coin toss. So the dice roll is literally just a dice roll. You can roll a couple of dice and then how many attempts you want. And then there's this funny little animation here. Uh, I don't know why the developers added that. I guess you can, we can look at it in the list. And we rolled five, one, one, really free. Wow, amazing. Um, and also in the math box is the coin toss. Similarly, you can just uh, choose how many coins and attempts you want. There's this also funny little animation. And yeah, uh, let's view our results. Uh, looks like we got heads, 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 and one tails. Wow. Okay, um, so I think that's about it for the new functionality. Um, other than that, there's not too much special. It's kind of like the new iPhone releases. There's like a little bit of special release, special changes that like make you want to get it, but overall there's not. The biggest changes are with like uh, the design of it. So here we have the four arrow keys, right? Here we have another four and then an OK button in the middle. And then these two arrow keys, I have no idea what purpose they serve because we just have arrow keys right here, right? So I don't know why we need those. Um, it's kind of unnecessary. Just a lot of things have been switched around. Uh, you have x squared is to like the left of the of the generic to the power function button. Um, lon is now a shift of log instead of it being its own button. Uh, sign cos and tan are still here. The equal sign, the big, the one that threw me off the most is the special equal sign. So it's here, it's shift here instead of alpha here on this one, uh, which confused me a bit. Uh, but uh, there's also a back button here, which I find pretty useful. I'm pretty sure that EX probably also has the back button cap capability, but like I never really used it because it's not obvious what button I have to press for the back key. So overall, I think that's about all the differences. Um, the EX still has a lot of features. That's still a very useful calculator, uh, but the CW does have a bit more. So uh, in the next few days, I'll probably post a few videos um, utilizing the new features on the CW. So overall, um, the CW is pretty similar to the EX. If you already have an EX, I wouldn't recommend uh, by going out of your way to get a CW. But um, if you're looking for a new calculator, uh, you might as well just get the CW anyways. It's it's either the same price or not that much more expensive. I bought this one on Amazon for $30 Canadian. Uh, so it's, it's not that bad for a calculator with this much capability. Um, however, I do feel like they took a step backwards with the design of the calculator. I like the look of this one much better. So they could just like transfer the functionality of this calculator into this one. Uh, that would be great because I love the new functions, the new function menu and the new variable menu. I think those are very useful, but it's just that the design of this calculator, it doesn't look very cool. But obviously, um, if you're just a student, uh, the, des the design is secondary to its function. So in the at the end of the day, the CW is still a superior calculator than the EX. Thank you for watching my video. Uh, please subscribe. Uh, I'll be posting more content related to these calculators. So. Stay tuned.